Calendar Budgets Budgeting Habit Installer. Warning, these lessons are habit forming. Day 10, Building an Emergency Fund. Hi, today it's really important that you listen closely because I'm going to show you how to plan your emergency fund. They say that change is the only constant in life. Some changes are unexpected and costly. Broken down vehicles, house repairs, injuries, or loss of income are all common examples of times that can be both stressful and frustrating. You should always be prepared for some things to come unexpectedly. You can do this by planning a financial buffer for such occasions, called an emergency fund. Some people rely on credit cards for emergencies, while others maintain a special savings account that they keep adding money to until it reaches some predetermined balance, say $500, and then they don't touch it unless there's an emergency. It's important to have thought about how you'll handle unplanned expenses and have a plan in place so you don't have to add financial worry to an already stressful situation. So, here's how you create an emergency fund. Simply log into Calendar Budget, then at the top of the calendar, click the Last Account tab. This will then open the Account Setup. Click the Add a New Account button. This will open up the Account Setup Wizard. Select Manually Enter Data, and then Next. As the name of the account, enter Emergency Fund. Give it a starting balance of zero, then click Finish. Calendar Budget will reload with a new account tab called Emergency Fund. This emergency fund could be a real bank account, such as a no-cost savings account at your bank, or just a stash of cash that you keep on hand. However you manage it, it's important to make sure that you have the fund and that it has the amount you expect in it. Now let's transfer some money over to this new emergency fund. This time we're going to use the transfer option and move over $100 from our main account to the emergency fund. I'll set this to repeat five times, so we end up building a $500 cash in the emergency fund. These repeating transfers will show up in both your main account as a withdrawal and in the emergency fund as a deposit, like this. You'll also notice that now that we have more than one account, a new All Accounts tab has appeared. If you switch over to the All Accounts tab like this, you'll see both entries on the same day one deposit, one withdrawal. Also, in a transfer, no money is actually leaving you. It's just moving to a different account, but the money is still yours. It's unspent, so it won't affect your category budget at all. For this reason, I have a category that I created called Banking, which I use for transfers like this. Move forward in your plan a few months to make sure that the transfer that you just set up to build your emergency fund won't adversely affect your regular plan. So that's it. Congratulations. You now have a plan to build an emergency fund. Now you'll be ready for a rainy day, as they say. Tomorrow, I'll show you how to make effective use of your budget by consulting it before making any significant purchase. You can wait for tomorrow's email or simply click on day 11. Until then, happy budgeting.